In this video, we're going to compute the critical values of a two-tailed t-test using StackCrunch. We're basically doing problem number 12. By a two-tailed test, we mean one in which the alternate hypothesis has a not equal to sign. So suppose that in a two-tailed hypothesis test, the test statistic is t equals 1.41 with n equals 20 and alpha equals 0 0.10. So alpha is the level of significance. Compute the critical values using StackCrunch. That should say values, not value. There's going to be uh, two answers. The first thing you do, because it's a two-tailed test, you take your alpha and you divide it by two. So you actually compute 0 0.10 divided by two. That should be equal to 0 0.05. Then you go up here where it says stat, and you go to stat, calculators, and then you go all the way down to you see the T. So you want to click on T. And you have this window that opens up. So DF is the degrees of freedom. So all you do is you take your N, which is 20, and you subtract 1. So 20 minus 1 is 19. And then here, you want to enter half of 0 0.10. So we divide it by 2. We already did that, and we got 0 0.05. So I'm going to plug in 0 0.05 here. Then I'm going to click Compute. So that is one critical value, negative 1.73. So that's one of them. To get the other one, you just pick greater than, and you plug in it again, so 0 0.05. And you'll notice that they're opposites, right? It's exactly the same as the other one, it's just the sign is different. So you really only have to do it once, because once you have one answer, you have the other one. So to recap, because it's a two-tailed test, we first have to divide the alpha by two, then we go to stat, calculators, and then you go all the way down to t, you left click. To figure out what df is, you just take your sample size, which in this case is 20, and you subtract one, so that's 19, and then you just enter 0.05, here in this box, and then you click Compute. So negative 1.73, and so the other answer must be 1.73. And you can always check. You can pick greater than, and then plug in 0.05, and you get the opposite. So I hope that helps.